What's up guys and girls, my name is Michael and welcome back to another Skyrim build on Fudge Muppet. Before we get into the video, be sure to check the description box and click the links to our previous Fallout 4 video which is about playing as a ghoul and also to our steadily growing video, The Ideal Fallout 4. Just open it in a new tab and pause it or something. Anyways, today's build is the Exile and the main idea was actually sent in by a fan. Now this fan's name was CJ Lanes, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but yeah, we don't often do builds sent in by fans, but we thought we could make something cool out of this one. Also if this video gets 2000 likes in the first day, we'll make a guide on how to make the goblin looking face. The Exile was not always an exile, he was once a member of an orc stronghold in High Rock. He was weak and couldn't contribute enough to the tribe, and for this he was bullied. The Exile was a genetic failure, and no one in the tribe could understand how one of their blood had turned out so weak. Orcs, being very efficient, decided to cast the weak orc out of the tribe. He was exiled. The Exile could not retaliate against this decision, and so he left and ventured to Skyrim. Devastated and lost, he was caught on the border and taken to Helgen to be executed. Miraculously, with the appearance of Alduin, he could escape, however a petty hatred fueled his heart. He now despised all the orc strongholds, and he travelled the lands of Skyrim to learn magic to the best of his abilities. He tended to be pretty good at magic, especially in relation to anything physical. Eventually, after learning what he desires, he will go to the orcish strongholds and slay them all. He hates their culture and wants revenge. He's violent and vindictive, and will also directly challenge Malakath. The gear for the exile is ragged robes and boots, a silver necklace, gloves, and a gold ring. The Exile isn't necessarily poor, he just doesn't really care for appearance and all his protection and damage comes from magical powers. The skills for the Exile are one-handed, alteration, conjuration and enchanting. Enchanting will be used for things that keep you alive like fortify health, but mainly for fortify one-handed. Whilst you can develop the skill of being a swordsman, you're still pretty weak so one-handed enchantments develop the damage or for roleplaying's purpose, the strength behind the slashes. Alteration will be used to protect you using flesh spells and will be the main way you stay alive. Conjuration is your main offense and will be strictly used for bound weapons. They will be a bound sword and a bound dagger. Until you get the bound dagger, you can use two bound swords, but later on, having a bound dagger in the left hand makes you attack much faster. Bound weapons are also used because of their exile's lack of strength. They don't really weigh anything, so they're pretty easy to swing around. Finally, one handed will of course be used to be skilled with these blades. When it comes to the playstyle, the Exile will use Dragon Aspect in battle as much as possible and this will give you a 25% damage increase to power attacks, an 125% increase in armor rating, a 25% increase in fire and frost resistance and a 20% decrease in shout recharge time. Berserker Rage will also be used very often and this racial ability will allow you to take half damage and deal double. Anyways, when entering battle, use your flesh spell, then cast your bound sword and bound dagger spells. Interestingly, if you feel like you'd need to block for some reason, just summon your bound sword. The Exile is very aggressive in battle, and will use speed and dual power attacks alongside sprinting attacks to defeat his enemies. Remember, whilst you're weak and easy to kill, all your protection granted by Alteration, Berserker Rage and Dragon Aspect makes you very powerful. The stat spread for the Exile is 30% Magicka, 50% Health and 20% Stamina. Stamina of course is to sprint around and power attack, Health to stay alive and Magicka of course to summon your blades and cast your flesh spell. The Standing Stone for the Exile, as you'd assume, is the Lord Stone, and as you know, this gives you 50 points of armor rating and gives you a 25% increase to magical resistance. And that finishes this week's Skyrim build, the Exile. We hope you enjoyed this build, and remember that next week's build will use some sweet immersive modded gear. If you liked this video, hit the like button, and remember if it gets 2000 likes in the first day, we'll make a face building video guide. The perk link you'll want is in the description, as is the link to our awesome Fallout 4 videos, our Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. My name is Michael, this was The Exile, and I'll see you tomorrow on our podcast, The Fudge Muppet Show.